Welcome to part B of the commentary. Wow. Parenting. Once again, look who is always the victim, especially in the BC. Just riding the bus. You can't even do that. I wish they would take the video to the school and try to identify them. At least try to use the jacket. Try and use the windbreakers. For some reason, I doubt that anything will really seriously happen with this. But I wish they would. Take the little windbreakers. Take that video to school and try to identify them with the jackets. Try to put maybe put up a reward. And not only have them uh, arrested, put in the juvenile detention center, they should also find the parent. Mm-hmm. Hit them with those dollar signs. That's what they should do. If there are on any type of government assistance program, uh, within 30 days, I would cut off any rent subsidies. If that's applicable, I surely would. And I reduce a little ET part. Because we're, we're, we're tired of feeding uh, criminals. We're tired of parents raising their children or refusing to raise them. Poverty and poverty P get together and they unleash a tragedy upon society and it adversely affects you and me. What did Godfrey say? You're traumatized, yep, by who the actions or the anger or what? Uh, a black man? Well, in this case, those are young black men, they're teenagers. They are the seed of poverty, so the parents should be held accountable. And the bus, you know, they may have some kind of cause in there for the bus driver to hey, not engage, but at some point, uh, that's just not like just keep on driving as if nothing's happened. So, black women want to see a call. Who's there for you? I'll wait. Well, I can't because I don't have much time. You, you get to wake up call. The bus driver was a man. Gee, I wonder who. I could be wrong. Person had my mind, and it could be of any nationality. I just know in certain groups sometimes I end up with those in this group here. It's the norm. Black women, you got the microphone, sweetheart. You can holler the screen. Newsflash. You are literally, you are on your own. And getting still, these are the same criminals. And the, um, I don't care how you put it, these are kids being kids. They're using foul language, very disrespectful. And look, threw her off the bus. That was a horrifying ordeal. Jacket is torn. Look, in her neck. Oh my gosh. Soreness in her neck. But I know. As a black woman, you gotta keep strong and keep moving on. The parents should be held accountable and they should be sued. Or when they don't have anything, then I will contact the government office and try to have them thrown off any, any kind of program that they're getting. It's time to hold them accountable. I don't care about the parents being homeless. They're like savages. They raise these savages. People want to always make excuses, especially for the BC. Always make some excuses. And that's why it's gotten out of hand. And then you wonder why this happened, and people are not so upset because they're so stupid, they have no idea of the art of war. To make the enemy show them in a negative light, they do this little Taiwan, little TT, the seat of poverty, they do this to themselves every single day. They need no assistance. And then you wonder why. No one's coming to the rescue. You wonder why. Dusty, just like their offspring, they being drama and trauma, the financial implications to a dust in the nation. I wish she had had um, a weapon. Man, if she just had a stun gun, this is in Washington, D.C. If she would have just had a stun gun, that would have been awesome, man. Put that, lay all three of them out. I wish someone could have said, hey, for all, as they were doing this here, if they they had a crowd of people. Just everybody, let's get up. Everybody get up. They can't get us all. Everybody get up. Take them and throw them off the bus. Kick them in the back. And maybe I shouldn't say that, but this just makes me angry. Look what they did to her. You know, you have to watch because everybody wants to call these children. The future murder was a coup of society. You got to call them. And you have some man go, well, what she should have done, what she should have done. How about this? What you should have done is shut your butt up and start procreating trash. 
That's what the man man should not done. How about you? This officer, what she should have been doing, doing to them kids. No, what should have been done, somebody shouldn't have been born in the first place. Kids do things like this, so they become emboldened. And then the next thing you wonder, why are they up there shooting and robbing people? But what, what they should have not know and what, what somebody should have done is realize they weren't ready to raise children. They shouldn't have signed up. What Mammy should have done is sign up to be an IOD and incubator of destruction. But that's okay. That replacement is here. Trust and believe. And trust and believe. That's why no one's no one is investing in the BC. They're just not. These are gonna be the same fool that's good a job and no one takes a chance on them. Black people, you have business. Do not feel obligated. What we got to do some is it's not your job to fix the community. It's not. I know a lot of you are trying. It's not. It's not much time to fix it. Oh, hell no. Start your business. You have to be very careful if you, who you give a chance to. You have to be very careful. With very young, the seed of poverty, they might be a little biracial here. Very young. I don't care what nationality they are. It's time for them. This is your seat you put it responsible. I guarantee you. If they were to start holding them accountable, you might see a change. But until then, things are the same. Those walk around being violent, something strange. Where is the protection? I mean, the bus driver just killed. he could at least stop the bus and tell them to get off the bus. Couldn't even do that. I would like to see him. What, what's the response? Just driving the bus as if nothing has happened. So you think about all this nonsense about hashtag defund the police. I got a new one for you, darling. Oh, I got a new one. You're going to love this one. Instead of hashtag defund the police, how about hashtag defund the seed of poverty D? Let's try the hashtag one more time. Hashtag defund the seed of poverty D. Think about it. It makes perfect sense to me. It makes perfect sense to me. So they said that her on YouTube. I feel for this woman. I, I mean, you can't even ride the bus. And what if that's her only transportation? What if that is her only transportation? I tell you, like I said before on the BC, as long as it's on the male version, this is who's protected. This is who's protected. So, again, I hope that they take that video to the school. Who's wearing these jackets? Every school in the area, they need to get somebody who's wearing these jackets and go snatch them up. Put them in juvenile hall. We're going to see how tough you are. Because believe it or not, a lot of things that happen in the, in the adult prison. Oh, what happened in the detention centers? Are you kidding? Those animals are loving us too. Assaulting children. Isn't it? This, this is who they are. The teacher already told them why. Because that's what the men are teaching them to do. To commit crimes that they're, they don't want to do. They don't want to get caught again. The seed of poverty D. So I propose hashtag not defund police. But hashtag defund the seed of poverty D. So if you have any YouTube, let me know your thoughts. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out. And above all people, please stay safe. Love ya.